This house I'm about to pass, you gotta check it out. Me and Kayla are in Mission Hills, by the way. But yes, look at this fortress that's for sale. Sorry for the wind noise, I know you're getting it. But yeah, that big, massive monolith is for sale. Very modern, very nice. Guys, what is up? It's your boy, and the vlogs are back, for real. Now, they technically, after me saying that they were black, that, yeah, that they were black, that they were back uh, a few weeks ago, um, they never left from that. It's just, I've been so busy up until now. But uh, yeah, they're back, and the motivation, honestly, is the GoPro Hero 9 Black that I just picked up yesterday. Uh, this camera came out this week, and uh, they were already in stores at Best Buy, so I did the curbside pickup. So I didn't walk in there. I paid on the website, picked up curbside. So that being said, I am loving the Hero 9 so far. Uh, it's so cool having a color screen on the front. Uh, there's a slight delay, but it's less of a delay than the DJI Osmo. The frame rate's hilarious, though, because... And, and you're not getting the front screen for frame rates because that doesn't matter it's going to be different for you um in post but currently it's like 10 frames a second so it looks kind of like a slideshow like an animated slideshow or like a gif or gif if you prefer calling it that but uh yeah it's good to be back and i'm currently using the gopro i forget what tripod they call it it's a, it's a go it's an official gopro tripod and it extends and and it can be a monopod as well which i have it set to at the moment but yeah, so I currently ordered DoorDash. By the way, it is the weekend. It is Saturday. Currently ordered DoorDash uh, from Cabarera's Italian Grill. I don't know how to say it, but I'm going to show you guys real quick when it gets here what that looks like. It looked amazing on the app. So hopefully it's, you know, good and uh, looks amazing in real life. It's got, it's, it's, I, I got chicken alfredo, so grilled chicken with mushrooms and peas. So it should be good. And then after that, I got to run to Target real quick because I bought a um, new micro SD card for this. I lost my Samsung one, which I need to find because it has, it has files on it for a video. It's here somewhere. I just don't know where. But yeah, so hopefully I find that soon. Um, so for the time being, I'm temporarily recording on a 64 gigabyte uh, micro SD card from Silicon Power. Good brand. But uh, I'm going to be picking up a 128 gigabyte micro SD card SanDisk from Target. It's on stuff for like 30 bucks. So cheap. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a very much a, a catching up sort of vlog. I'm probably going to name the vlog my first vlog with the GoPro Hero 9, obviously. Because, I mean, let's be honest, I like using new cameras. And uh, this is by far the best GoPro yet. I did a software update. Or firmware update on it just fine and then the hero 8 which i am keeping uh had a firmware update and it keeps failing the firmware update so i don't know my samsung galaxy is ringing or buzzing not ringing so yeah i do need to catch up i've been cleaning the office all afternoon so i just got a message from doordash i'll read that in a second um so yeah and I do finally want to talk about my TV. I know I've hinted at it, mentioned it, showed it very briefly. Take a look. I'll talk about it more in this vlog, but yeah. That's a big TV. Hopefully that's in frame. I can't really see. Let me tap the screen. If it'll turn on. If you won't. Okay, not a big deal. The screens are by default meant to turn off after like a minute. I may change that to two minutes. Um, this GoPro is heavier and beefier. <coughs> There's, that's not a bad thing at all. So I'm excited to uh, start getting new accessories for the Hero 9. I do have an accessory coming for the Hero 8. Again, like I've already said before, I am not done with the Hero 8. I've only had it six months. I bought it back in April. You guys remember. And uh, so it's not it's not being replaced. I'm just having, I'm expanding my collection because I still use the Sony Handycam. And it's another, or the, not the handy cam, it's, what is it, the Sony, here it is. I use this action cam still, and this thing I've had longer than the Hero 8 and the Hero 9. Uh, this camera is solid, it was $400, it's not cheap. 
the the Hero 9 was 450 so $50 more expensive than even this. This is the Sony X3000. It is one of the best action cameras I've ever used and owned. And it is not going anywhere. I, I'm going to use all three. I have so many uses for cameras these days because I vlog and make other videos. Just because I get a new one doesn't mean I'm going to get rid of an old one. Now, I did give the session to Julian, but I didn't need the session anymore. I just didn't need it. Imagine if I had the session and these three cameras. The session would get ignored, and it was getting ignored with the Hero 8 and having the Sony. But now with the Hero 9, I have the Hero 9, the Hero 8, and the Sony. And, uh, yeah, look how sexy this camera still is two years later. You know what? Did I get this? I think, No, I got this only a year ago. Because I bought this... Okay, I got the Hero 9 yesterday, got the Hero 8 in April 2020. I got this January 2019, so it's just a little bit over a year old, not even two years yet, almost, but not quite. That being said, welcome to the vlog, and uh, as soon as the food gets here, I'll show you what it looks like. So here we go. So I've never had Carabas. I think I call it Carabaras or something in the last clip. I've never had Carabas before, but they give you sliced bread, you got some oregano and cheese i think but look at that it smells so good it looks so good look at that big old chunk of mushroom there look at that grilled chicken alfredo my mouth is watering as i speak but boy that look good and you get side salad you got the house salad probably as right where the cheese goes for, for this i think but and is that that's salad dressing so what is this oh Olive oil for the bread. Okay, so the bread and the oregano mixes. I need to get a dish for that so I can dip my bread. That's so cool. You got a lot of food for 30 bucks. Yeah, this is all 30 bucks. No, was it 30? No, was it? What did I pay? I forget what I paid. There was no way it was 30 bucks. Was it 30 bucks? No, I paid 24 bucks. I forgot I had some credit and a $5 off coupon. It would have been 30 bucks. I paid like 24 and, and that's with tip. So yeah, I had some credit because my last DoorDash meal from Subway was wrong. So they gave me a, a nice little credit for that. But yeah, I'm ready to grub. My mouth is watering. All right, here we go. I love having a front facing screen. Um, what's up guys? It is Tuesday night. I just got home from mom's. Um, had an amazing dinner. Uh, head steak, and I actually got a picture. I'll, I'll explain what this is here in a second. I actually got a picture of the steak. Let me open it up. Look at that. Yes. So before, and that's with steak and and green beans and and a baked potato. Cleaned it. Nothing left at all. Anyway, hope you all are well. I'm enjoying iOS 14 actually, even though I do love my Samsung Galaxy phone. I remember, I use both. But I currently have. I'm just showing the Apple investment I have. But that's Robin Hood. That's the widget I have on the home screen. Very nice. So I hope all is well uh, with you all. I am currently, I just got these. These were $10 on Amazon. And they're Halloween lights. And these are all little, little spider boys. So the, the goal is, I was going to wrap them around the microphone. But they might be too long. First of all, I gotta get this unwrapped, period. There we go. So, yeah, I was gonna, and they're battery powered. Three, three double A's, I believe. So, depending, <laughs> depending on how much I actually have here, because I, I thought these, I thought it was a pretty short cable, but it's looking kind of, looking kind of long. Uh, but depending, on how long the cable is, they may go past the microphone arm. I'm not sure. So I thought I I don't like to get too much in the Halloween. I'm not big on Halloween, but I figured for the streams, for you know YouTube videos, them on in the background would be cool. I think so. Plus, it was only like ten dollars on Amazon. Very cheap for lights. Oh yeah, these are quite long. So yeah. I will show you guys the results. Wow, this is longer than I, this is worth every bit of ten dollars. That is a long look at all this. That is a lot of lights. That's a lot more than I thought. So set those on the floor for a moment. Um oh yeah, another thing I want to show you guys. 
my customer, one of my customers ordered one of these. This is the Logitech Harmony 950. And I fell in love with it while setting it up for them. Look, it's a, it's a smart remote. And it's a universal remote with a cradle, so it charges. But this works with Apple TV. This works with Samsung uh, TVs. This works with just about any TV setup, any Blu-ray player, any console, just about, as well as all, all versions of Apple TV. So, 200 bucks, not bad. Um, I got it on sale. So yeah, there's that. Also got some lens filters for the for the Panasonic. That's boring. But yeah, so just kind of updating the vlog a little bit. It feels good to vlog again. Um, David and I both played this on our streams last night. Um, not worth 60 bucks. Nintendo, what are you doing? Uh, I rage quit about 30 minutes in the streaming, so sorry to Saffron, the only person that showed up. Twitch did not tell people I was live. They never do that. And so that's making me want to use YouTube more and more. For streaming and twitch less if you're not going to tell my followers that i'm live then what why am i on your platform for twitch seriously why am i on your platform so i rage quit at super mario 64 david was not happy with uh super mario sunshine a lot of people aren't happy with super mario sunshine but i hear galaxy's fine the beef i have with galaxy though is back on the wii when i bought galaxy it made me motion sickness because you're constantly twirling around on a planet upside down on stuff. I'm gonna give this another shot. Galaxy, I'm gonna give Galaxy another shot. I'm gonna I'm gonna check out Super Mario Sunshine. I played a very little bit of it last night, and it felt like, except for the fact that the controls are not inverted like they should be in the original, they were, it didn't feel that bad. Just that one little thing. So I think with a software update, Nintendo can add that. But I raged the Super Mario 64. I'm not good at that game like I used to be. But to be honest, it is not my favorite uh, Super Mario game. It never has been. 64 has only been okay to me. And I know that's a very unpopular opinion. But I wasn't very impressed with it when I was a kid. And I'm even less impressed with it now just because I, I'm just... Maybe I'm just not good at the game. I'm, I constantly die. People say it's easy. No. At least not for me. Maybe it is easy. Maybe I'm just dumb. But I compare it to Odyssey, Super Mario Odyssey, and that's a lot easier than 64. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. So, the other thing I want to talk about before I get these lights going is, um, so as you all know, I have a regular job, okay, during the week. On the weekends, I sometimes work for customers who I've repaired the computers over the years. And that's what I did this past weekend. And this used to be one of my best customers. I could not make this person happy. They don't know how to use what they buy, and that becomes my fault. So, long story short, I told them they needed to find somebody else to start working for them when it comes to electronics because it can't be me because I can't seem to make them happy and talk about backpedaling. So, I'm not going to quit working for them because they apologized, but people need to understand if you don't know how to work something that you bought and you get mad at me because you don't know how to do it and I do I'm sorry how is that my fault you're the one that wanted the product to begin with I'm the only one who installs it and uh, you know shows you how to use it and then you're on your own I can't sit there I cannot be going to your mansion and yes they live in a mansion I cannot be going to your mansion every single day after work to show you once again how something works do I have a dead pixel or is that a smudge? Okay, it's a smudge. Okay. I'm paranoid about these screens. Because they're not cheap. I'm at my gaming PC, so the 144 hertz displays, you know, I get paranoid. But they're all perfect. Um, but, yeah, I cannot sit there and babysit you every day. It costs time and money. And I have not had a legit day off in months. Because I love money. So I like working every day. Even on my days off from my regular job, I work. So, this weekend's going to be different. I'm not doing anything for anyone. I don't care who wants or needs something done. I don't care how much money they wave in front of my face. Actually, I do a certain amount. I'll be like, all right, fine. But the goal is to not work this weekend at all. To be here, to be home, doing what I want on my days off like a normal human normally does. So, anyway. But, yeah, let me go and get these lights.
going. I'm going to go ahead. I was going to make an unboxing instead of video of this, but I don't think I will. I'm just going to skip it. I really don't feel like doing it. It's a remote. It's a smart remote. It's a very cool remote, but eh, I'll show you guys. I'll show the vlog, you know, but it won't be in depth, so don't expect that. So that being said, here I go. Huh. These are the square opening. What? What's up, guys? That Honda sounds weird. A D tag or something in it. Anyway, we just got to eat and Got an eating at uh, Lemongrass. Good place if you're in Oven Park in Kansas. Lemongrass, Taglazine, I'll show you. That's the place. In downtown Metcalf, which they've been building. So we've got all these new buildings now. It's gonna look like a city. So, yeah. I had what you just saw, that was a uh, roasted duck. And Kayla had pork belly, but she didn't like it, so. It was hard. Yeah, no, no, I, I tried it. It wasn't, it wasn't good. It was hard and tiny at the same time. They can't Smell move. this. Ooh. Well, I almost went back in that bathroom and took a <laughs> What is, is that soap? No, there's lotion. They have lotion in there. They have lotion in there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It has soap and lotion. That is hospitable. I almost uh, walked in there and took the bottle. That's, I was like, Ooh. That's <laughs> thievery though, okay, let's hide in here. Well, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm almost out of my hemp lotion. That Tanya got me for my birthday. Yeah. Oh man, I was in there with the trash can. Yeah, you forgot. You forgot the trash. Okay. <sighs> yeah, right. Throw on this. Turn on this AC. I know, I'm in suffocating. Hot shit in here. I putting on these glasses dude because I'm blind because freaking sun man I gotta get used to having a GoPro with a color screen on the front isn't that cool like it's got like a low flame frame rate that's how they keep it from draining the battery it, it won't look like that in the actual video it, it won't be all choppy so but yeah Oh, we go now. Okay. Alright. So let's drive by those apartments first. Water walk. Water walk. Alright. The homies over on a red light. Dragon in. This is the place. I know, that's why I was like, oh, it's oh, it's just, oh yeah, it's just taking all they they ain't taking no they are taking no chances at all. I like little old downtown Metcalf, like the old timey buildings. So Kayla found some apartments that I'm very interested in. And I think you are too, right? Yeah. You can see you and Daniel living there. Yeah, they're smaller, but really we don't need, you know, and it's all utilities paid. Yeah. And that's Which, hard to find now. Yeah. That's, especially in good areas. Right. Like this is over the park. Right. Yeah, for Park's those of you, a nice area. yeah, for those of you who don't know Kansas City very well, there's a there's a city within a city, you know, like most cities have, called Overland Park, where I live, and I used to work in, but I don't anymore. Anyway, it's a very the crime rate is low, the police rate is high, you know. So <laughs> if you call the police, they'll be there in seconds because they don't have anything to do. It's it's really nice to live in. So. I really should have took that. <laughs> did you at least did you get it at least see what the what it's called so you can buy something? No, because by the time I smelled it, I was already halfway out the bathroom. Uh, and at first, I didn't know if I was actually smelling it because of my mask. You know, it smells like. It smell, let me smell it. It smells like vanilla, like yes, cinnamon. Well, like a vanilla. So I, we can go to Bath and Body Works or something. I don't even know where that's from. Besides the mall, yeah, I ain't trying to go in the mall, but. Um, anyway, you're talking about the apartments. Yeah. So. <laughs> Their utilities paid. I know I was like totally. Their utilities paid, and 
that's you know it's a big plus but they're like they have cable and internet too yeah but it's a google fly see that's the that ooh, that's where i'd be like i don't know you know yeah <coughs> excuse me <coughs> dying got some more, more of that thai curry stuck in my throat so, seriously something's tickling in my throat <coughs> the duck's alive maybe you're allergic to duck well, this will be a very interesting vlog if that's the case. This is, this is, this is. If I need to go to the hospital, keep the camera rolling. You've never had duck before? No. Go ahead. Oh, I was just saying, maybe <laughs> that could definitely be a possibility. <laughs> I doubt I got any food allergy of anything. I'm not allergic to any kind of food. That you know of. That I know of. You know, this guy, he was telling me, uh, he because at Smoothie King, he wanted to get the blueberries and some other stuff removed, and he was telling me, that there's this website where all you have to do is send in the, like a cotton swab of your mouth yeah and they'll tell you everything that you're that you're like not like deathly allergic to but that isn't that your body can't that isn't i don't know it's weird because he found out he was allergic to blueberries and a couple other things really that he had grown up eating his whole life but he wasn't like allergic enough you know what i mean yeah I don't remember exactly. Or it's so, like an intolerance. Yeah, so just because he's allergic to that stuff, does that mean he now doesn't... Yeah, he don't eat it. Yeah. But he said he does notice a difference in, like, how his body responds to food and he just feels better. Yeah. Because it also told him, like, what what foods and stuff inflame his body. Hmm. I was like, I kind of want to do that. It's yeah. expensive, but... <laughs> Might be worth it, though. Right. Even though, watch, mine's gonna come back gluten. Ice cream. Gluten and gluten, like, wheat. Sure. <laughs> Everything I like to eat, you yeah. know? <laughs> so, yeah, that's where we're currently headed to look at these apartments. I'm gonna vlog it, obviously, so you guys can see. They're supposed to be really nice. So, so. on the website, they look really nice. Yeah. And they have a washer and dryer in the unit. That's always a plus. Yeah. You can get them up to three bedrooms. That's one thing I definitely want to get when I get my own place. I will probably throw some money down on a washer and dryer instead of going somewhere like on your mat and paying all that money. It's easier to just get a washer and dryer. Unless you can find like a good laundromat that'll just do it for you at a decent price. Like me and Daniel, before we got our lawn, our washer and dryer, yeah, we went to the little Asian. Um, yeah, and they did it right. Yeah. And they, Daniel flipped out because they folded his underwear. <laughs> like it was like really cute the oh, yeah. way they folded it. <laughs> that's, but that's cool. That's and it smelled really good. That's a good service, you know. Yeah. So he we went we went through them for a little while and it wasn't bad. We just didn't you know we did laundry like every two I just, weeks. I don't know if I want somebody washing my clothes. It's really not that bad. I was embarrassed <laughs> at I first. I don't I was know. Like, I don't know. And then. Well, if, well if there's like a little you know. A little, my a little thing, milk in there, well, you know how, what I'm saying? How Daniel explained it to me, he said, I'm sure they've seen worse. So you like shit, and they're just like, here you go. And right. they'll take it. Yeah, probably. It. Little daddy's milk in there, you know, just, you know, just wash it out, just hose it down, you know, wash it out. But it saved, like, literally, though, it saved us because, um, from, because I hated folding long, I hate folding laundry. Yeah. So all I had to do when we get the laundry back is put it away. <laughs> Didn't have to wash it, didn't have to fold it, just put it away. That's great. That's very convenient. Very. So, people have been stealing cars out of Bob Allen Ford over here. You hear about that? Mm -mm. They They took a brand new Ford F-150 and realized that they were blocked in by another one that was sitting there and they ram into it with their new one. So now there's two brand new cars that are wrecked, you know. Like, people don't care, dude. There's like, eh. Be like salvaged trucks now, or they're just gonna total them because they've been first of all driven, second of all wrecked. You know, I don't know. It's crazy what they turned that into. It's oh. a big office park, basically. Yeah. With a red lobster in the corner. <laughs> red lobster will start doing really good for uh, lunches during the week. It's all right there. All right, we're gonna vlog it when we get there because I only have 50% battery, so yeah.
Seen a little bit. Okay, we're here. Yeah, you can't see nothing. Nothing. It's gated on both sides. It's Ain't a, getting in. Yeah. Unless you got a key. So we're on the. Uh, what happened there? Gross. <laughs> Your car's wrecked. It looks nice. Not all of them have balconies. Yeah. Let's park off the extra. They're tiny balconies. Okay. On chat. Yeah, chat. Hold on. Vlog. He's just talking to the stream. I'll show you guys. Okay. Okay. All right. There you go. So, this is a hybrid place. So you can either stay here, or as a hotel, or you can live here. In the hotel. With complimentary breakfast every morning if you live here. That's funny. But yeah. Huh. Water walk, where you walk on the water like Jazz's. Jazz's Christ. Go oh, that way. Okay. Kayla's a charger, but she demands I go this way. Come on, let's go look. <laughs> Cause you can't go in the other way. Gated on both sides. Oh, you can if you try hard enough. If you ram hard enough. Jump the gate. You can't really see nothing. So it's literally just two buildings. Yeah. Okay. What? Well, now that we're go out this here. Way. No, that goes somewhere else. That goes to that building. Yeah, but you can see. Okay. Yeah. Right, right, right. But after this, we're going to visit T-Mobile. Why are we going to T-Mobile? That right there is T-Mobile. What's this place? Element 25? <laughs> what are these names? <laughs> what the hell is an Element 25? 25 Elements? Visitor Park. What is it for? Cardinal Health. Oh, it's Saturday. They're closed. Cardinal, I need health. It's literally Danny. Look, it's just two buildings. Oh, yeah. What the hell? Okay, I'm gonna flip the camera again and show everybody. So that's probably lovely camera work. I know. I know but yeah. There you go. So the one on the left, you live in. The one on the right, you stay in. That's kind of weird, huh? Well, that's cool. It's dope. Live in the back, stay in the front. Twelve hundred dollars a month. Business in the back, party in the front. Like a mullet. The mullet hotels what they should have called it. Shit, but those. Balconies ain't worth paying extra money for either. So, Kayla, is this a hard pass then? Hmm? Well, no. No. Okay, so as everybody knows, Sprint was bought by T Mobile. Okay? Sad day, I know. You would think it'd be the way around. But let's be honest, Sprint wasn't that good anyway. But now everything's all purple. I grew up on Sprint. Yeah, so did I. Everything's all purple now. And uh, we have all this magenta propaganda. So I'm about to show you guys the new hive that used to be Sprint before that. I think it was Next. No, it was it was always Sprint, but Nextel was there for a while. And then, and now, it's the T-Mobile. Oh, the Uncarrier. This one, though. Element 25. Look, they only have a banner. They don't even have a... That's how new. It's because they're still building it. This is called Element 25. People still live there. People are moving in already, yes. You know why? Because they have all 25 elements to do so. Oh they are the Avatar. The Elemental. So we got the Fire Nation lives in there. The Water Boys. The Airbenders. The Ground Shakers. Any more elements, Kayla? Who else is left? They probably Oh, they probably are, but we, okay, we're gonna check them out. And then T-Mobile, all right, so here we go. Oh, Element 25, ooh, yes. These are really nice. <laughs> they are very nice. These are really nice. They all look the same though. Everything looks, this looks like a fake building. 
<laughs> it's so nice, it doesn't look real. It's a prop, it's a set. Ooh, what, are these probably the most expensive ones right here? These? Look how big they look. Yeah. You know how much it is for a studio apartment? How much? $1,045. Oh, that's actually cheaper than the purgatory. Studio, 455 square feet. Is that a closet? <laughs> Basically, that's tiny. These are nice. Oh, oh, we have to go around the roundabout. Mm, if I want to go left, I have to go right first. Yes. The roundabout? There's no... It ends? Anyway. Yeah, that's How much is it for the columns? The column condos. I don't know. The rest of them say inquire for details. Oh, that means... Hmm? It's a price you're not going to like, is what they're saying. <laughs> But, yeah, we have okay. five studio apartments available. Confirmed we need to stay here. Look, it's a Tesla. It's a guy in a Tesla. Oh, there's another one. There's two. Look at this one. He's parking. He's parked. Oh, yeah. Yeah, watch that motherfucker. Good. Nice. Nice. Okay. Expensive as shit. Yeah, this guy has to park in a special way. I think he's got a bunch of boxes on his balcony up there. Crazy. I got a lawman. It's the land of T-Mobile. Look at that. They took, dude, they already took down the sprint sign, like, quick. T-Mobile headquarters, everything's magenta on the inside. On the outside, it's kind of boring. Is it safe? Do I cross? Yes, it's safe. I think I have a nail in my tire because I heard it. Tech, 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 tech. We got all the banners. Like oh, yeah. One. Look at that. It's the banners. Victory. Victory Screech. We got all of the T Mobile property. What's this? In power. Empower retirement. retirement. You can retire at T-Mobile. You know, they actually did a story on this building a couple years ago, saying how Sprint didn't use most of it because <laughs> it's so big. It's huge. Yeah. They probably rent it out. Probably to like that retirement place, for instance. Yeah, they probably rent out sections. For instance. Cause like, what the fuck they need all this for? <laughs> Exactly. The T Mobile dog. The gun carrier. Look at all that. All those little, little. Key bank. Yeah. A bunch of little places. A bunch of little places in that building. See, they didn't even use that building. Here's the T Mobile parking garage. Ericsson? Sony Ericsson? <laughs> Why are they here? They're com aren't they competitors? I guess not, because Sony Ericsson is a phone. Which I'm sure they have on T-Mobile. What's with all these speed bumps? I guess they won't be flying through here. Oh, no. I'm bombing out my car. I'm going too fast. <laughs> there, we're gonna go baby slow. There we go, okay. Jeez. This is what I'm looking for. So, 
We are on Sprint Parkway, by the way. This is still called Sprint Parkway. But this is the main entrance. You can get engaged at T-Mobile? Engagement pictures. <laughs> so what? <laughs> Watch the gate close. Right there. See, that's the gate. No, it can close. No parking. We're hitting the inside scoop. Look, right next to you. Oh, the purple. You don't have to come back here with the car. Welcome to the uncarrier. Oh There's the purple store. It's the purple T-Mobile store. It's all purple. Sprint, where are you? Over here, the big giant T. So what the fuck are they gonna use this for? The headquarter things. Yeah. But over there, it looked like you could buy stuff. Well, that they have a company store. And I imagine you can be any average Joe just you know, walk in there and be like, yeah, the office about the only thing probably do it. All the purple. You can see this better at night, the purple. But yeah, all those lights are all purple. Or magenta. Magenta. Ugh. Oh, pictures. No, maybe. Possibly. What else is it going to be? I don't know. I know there's some schools. Like next week, one of my girls at work requested off because they're doing homecoming. And I was like, how are they doing homecoming? Masks on is how they're doing homecoming. Right now, she told me too that they don't even have, they don't, that they won't even let students go to like the games. Yeah. Just parents. Look, it's the T, it's the official T-Mobile baseball field. I would have hated to have to put all these up. Yeah, <laughs> right? Building something there. Well, oh, they were all a sprint before, so. Fucking get it. Then, uh. And then there's the gold T Mobile sign. The official one on that one, too, over there. So, yeah. Alright. Yeah. I have to go to. I have to go poop, so, uh. We gotta find a quick trip. Cause this is gonna be a quick poop. Okay, we're at Andy's. I found out some unfortunate news, so I'm kinda grossed out, but yes, there you go. <laughs> it's this, what is this, Kayla? The like apple pie concrete? With caramel. With caramel. You see caramel on my channel, not caramel. Mmm. Mmm. Yep. Tastes like. Tastes like a pie. Mm. Let me taste it. Mm -hmm. Kayla doesn't have COVID-19. It's okay. We Mine, both been tested. Mine's better. That's good, but this is bomb. Let's find out. Let's find out. I'm just gonna... It's pretty damn good. <laughs> it's fucking good. I, they um... blended a pie. They Both of us, they took a piece of pie, a piece of apple pie, blended it, into this concrete, and they did the same with Kayla's. She got pumpkin pie. With marshmallow. With marshmallow, and I got apple pie with caramel. And it's good. They both good. Mm. Even though I've been having like a pumpkin smoothie every day at work. <laughs> well, there you go. Is pumpkin a fruit or vegetable? I think it's a vegetable. Hmm. Siri. <laughs> she ain't gonna know. She's like, I found this on the website. <laughs> I'm about to look it up because now I'm not sure. Is pumpkin a fruit or a vegetable? It says they're a fruit. It is? I thought it was a vegetable. Because the them? last time we went to Lemongrass, I got 
Instead of getting meat, I just got mushrooms. All right. And vegetables. So explain to the class why you didn't like your lemongrass meal. Because it was hard and soggy at the same time. Yeah. You had what again? The pork belly. It was like god pow pork belly. Yeah. It was caca pork belly. But how was everything else around it? Fine, once I pushed it away. Yeah. <laughs> and you know me, I'm not typically like a picky eater. But well, that just... Just like milk with her Oreos. That's a violation in itself. Because I don't really like milk unless it's in the form of ice cream. It's so weird. Milk tastes like... Milk makes me gag. Why? I don't know. Just... Is it because you know it comes out of a boob? No. Okay. One time I drank... It was in the back of the fridge. I didn't think anything of it. I drank two-month-old chocolate milk. The worst taste I've ever had in my mouth. I didn't smell or anything. I didn't smell anything when I was pouring it in. It wasn't all chunky yet, but it was it had gone sour. Sour chocolate milk is bad. It is so bad. Like, I can't think of anything else I'd rather try. You know. Well, okay. Hair from the drain in the shower is pretty gross. I wouldn't. I'd rather drink expired chocolate milk over that. I just gross myself out while I'm eating, so that's great. It's so good. Ugh. It's almost the point where I can drink it. Do you get actual apples? Yes. I don't see any actual pumpkins in there. That's because it got blended. Look, there's pumpkin right there. Okay. Mm. So I used to be like a big fan of pumpkin, like anything pumpkin spice, anything like back in the day. And then I just fell off it. I just like I never liked I it. I didn't really eat pumpkin pie. I just didn't. and then all of a sudden, like like last year, yeah. I didn't like the pumpkin smoothie. Really? This year I drink it every fucking day. Why is that? I don't know. It's like last year I just wasn't into it. Does it only come around during spooky time? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But now I'm just like, dang, pumpkin just sounds good, tastes good. Last year I wouldn't, I don't think I even had it on Thanksgiving. I think I just passed on the pumpkin pie. Like I just, I don't know. I think I was, I used to love it. Like growing up, one time, my parents thought that they would, uh, that they could trick me between sweet potato and pumpkin. You told me this, and my parents thought the same thing, it didn't work. Yeah, no, they gave me a piece of sweet potato pie, and I was like, Ugh. And they were like, "What? It's pumpkin pie." I said, "That is not pumpkin." <laughs> I I didn't gag, but I was like, "Mom." Because I didn't like sweet potatoes at all. Mom, I was like, "Mom, why does the pumpkin pie taste weird?" <laughs> She's like, "Oh, that's sweet potato pie." I said, "No thanks. I like pot pies, but not sweet potato pie because it's different." But now, like now, I'll eat sweet potatoes and yams if they're cooked a certain way. Like, I like candy yams. I do too, but what the hell is a yam? <laughs> like a sweet potato? <laughs> Why is it different? Mm -hmm. I guess I'll look that up too. I don't know. Whoa, Black Betty. Bam, a yam. <laughs> what is the difference between sweet potatoes and yams? Yummy. Yummy in my tammy. <laughs> What's the verdict? I'm gonna put the windows down because it's not as hot as it used to be. I'm burning gas like I'm made of money. <laughs> sweet potatoes are almost sweeter than, are almost always sweeter than yams. Starchier, and then it says yams are starchier and more potato like. And not very sweet. That's not true. The candy yam is hella sweet. Yeah, it said what you what it says. Um, what you've probably been grow what you've been growing up calling a yam is probably a sweet potato. So it says yes, sweet orange colored root vegetable that you love so dearly is actually called a sweet potato. No. 
My grandma used to get them out of a can and said yams. I don't know. Look. Yam, sweet potato. Yeah, okay, I've had I've had both. I remember that. Oh no. Sweet potatoes orange, yes. We I still eat those all the time. Pa will cook them all the time. Well, sweet potato with that? That's like, sure, why not? It's always good. Good with butter. butter. Really good with butter. This house I'm about to pass. You gotta check it out. Me and Kayla are in Mission Hills, by the way. But yes. Look at this fortress that's for sale. Sorry for the wind noise. I know you're getting it. But yeah. That big, massive monolith is for sale. Very modern. Very nice. Fast charger. Guys, we're back at T-Mobile. Kayla's idea, actually. We wanted to see the magenta lights at night. So we're currently on Sprint Parkway at the T-Mobile headquarters. It's purple. Oh Everything Lord. purple. Oh, T-Mobile. So pretty. It really is pretty. Like, I would never join T-Mobile. But, gotta give it to them. They got some magenta lights, that's for sure. Very pretty. There's the main building. Yo, it shows up really good on this camera. I'm very impressed with the Hero 9. Look at all that. So much purple. And then, and once again, there's the T-Mobile company store inside. I think they're happy to be in Kansas City. I really do, T-Mobile. Wouldn't you say, Kayla? Something like that. I mean, they are very proud of their magenta colors, that's for sure. <laughs> It's 11.38 a.m. Let me show you something. Look how dark it is. It looks like it's nighttime outside. It is so dark outside. Very severe thunderstorm. I mean, it, it even feels cool out here. Like, it's temperature wise, it feels cool, you know. Yeah, this is what I woke up to. Absolutely, absolutely dark. Four birds in the dark. It was blowing pretty bad, but now it's not, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> 